today I'll look at a couple of possible ways to make game pieces with two techniques. First, it will be pieces that utilize the extrusion tool to add organic curves, then slot fitted pieces that can be printed or laser cut. For the first design, I'll just grab and stack a number of shapes that look promising and I'll experiment with their sizing and alignment. A pyramid or box often makes for a good base. Control L is the shortcut for aligning. And when I rotate, I usually want to stay within the displayed degree rings in order to rotate by increments of 22 and a half degrees. I like this stack and I'll align it by typing control L and then I'll color it and group it. Next in the shapes library, I'll go all the way down to the shape generators and the first one is the extrusion tool. I'll rotate that, turn it into a hole, then extend its length beyond my piece and I'll raise it up a bit. Now I can look at it from this orientation and stretch and rotate the handles in the properties box, move the adjustment points, and maybe raise the height. I can adjust the snap grid down to 0.5 millimeters for finer alignment. I don't want the hole too close to the center of the piece. Next, I'll duplicate the hole and type an M or click the mirror button here. These arrows are asking me if I want to mirror in the X, the Y, or the Z axes. I'll get a preview of the X and then mirror the hole in the X axis. I'll use the arrow key to move it over to about the same spacing as the original. I don't have to worry about it being totally exact because next I'll group the two holes by shift clicking them and clicking the group button and then I'll align them to the piece so they will be centered correctly. Next I'll duplicate the grouped holes and I'll look from above and rotate. I'll rotate by 90 degrees but for some orientations 45 would work as well. The duplicate holes will automatically be oriented correctly. So now I can group everything for the big reveal. If I don't like the results, I can hit undo a few times and adjust and retry. Looks good though. Next, for the slot to fit piece, I'll drag out some shapes that will sit flat on the work plane. Something like the sphere or paraboloid won't be good choices here because we're essentially designing in 2D. I'll rotate the two roof shapes up and then drop them to the work plane so they will be a triangle and an arch. Now I'll stack these and resize in some orientation that feels like a good profile for a piece. I'll align them, color them to better see the profile, then group them. Now I'll double check that the design is three millimeters high and I'll drag out a box and make it three millimeters wide. Now I'll check the piece's length and I'll make the box's length half of whatever the piece's overall length is. I want to align these two shapes in the middle and along the bottom edge. I'll duplicate these and then I'll align so the box is now at the top end of the second piece. If you're designing for laser cutting, just be sure to make the box's width the same as the material's thickness, or slightly greater. 